every day we wait for a certain time of day that God would bring his light to the subject. You know, like right now where it's just shining on the camera and it's shining on the table and it's shining on the book and it's just the right time of day. It always seems like there's a special time of day that God has for you and me. A special time that we meet, a special time that we relate to each other, a special time that we choose to be with God. A special time that maybe we listen a little more acutely than we would at some other time. Those are the times I like to say, let's get in the light, let's see what God has to say. Let's listen a little more acutely. Let's pay attention with our ears and see with our eyes what it may be that God might say to us and speak. Because after all, my soul waits for the Lord. Because my soul waits in silence for God only. From Him is my salvation. He's my stronghold, stronghold, yeah, 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 yeah. And I shall not be, I shall not be, I shall not be shaken, oh no, no, cause my soul waits in silence for God. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Which else, who shall separate us from the love of Jesus? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Be not afraid of them that can kill the body. Huh. And then after that, no more can they do. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. None of these things move me, neither I count my life dear unto myself, so that I may finish my course with joy. I will speak of thy testimonies before kings and will not be ashamed. Let that be the same attitude we have in the light, that we could go forward knowing that our lives are an open book. Of course we don't look perfect. Of course we aren't righteous. Of course we aren't the perfection of holiness. Of course we have room for improvement. But that's why we are Christian. Because we aren't perfect. Because if we were perfect, we would be God. If we were perfection in imperfection, we would be sons and daughters of God. And yet we have not attained unto that election that God has placed us and foreordained that someday we shall appear before him righteous. But until that day, of course we're Christian because we're improving day by day. We're changing from glory to glory. We're being made into the image and the likeness of the Son of God. And until that day, of course we're not perfect. Of course we are suffering persecution. Of course we are going against the course of this world because we're choosing a better way. We're choosing a more excellent inheritance. We have something more in store for us than the end of our life and thinking death is all there is. We have eternal life and that's why we are Christian.